Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 replay. This one's going to take place on Zelnaga Caverns. Uh, I'm spawning the top right as a Terran opponent, uh, as a Terran player. And the bottom left we have Vardoom, who is a Protoss opponent. So I didn't actually look up his stats, but uh, I think I'm going to do this replay just from my view. Um, and kind of the theme of this video is going to be kind of what decisions to make when things just start going really badly for you, because this is going to be a pretty painful start for me. And I think just a couple key decisions and a, like a basic game plan really helps when you're in these types of spots. Um, I'm not going to talk really about what's going to happen anymore, we'll just kind of wait for it to happen. So we do have a probe just kind of scooting around my base. No reason to really put an SCV on it until I'm ready to expand, which is what I'm doing now. But notice, even though I have time to plant it here, I don't. And now I'm in trouble. I'm like, oh shoot, now I'm just going to delay this. I'm like, oh, I may as well throw down my refinery now. So, quickly throw down my refinery, then I throw down my barracks. But I do get the kill. So now I have to wait even longer. So not only did he delay me, but in throwing down my barracks, I even had to wait longer to throw down that command center. So my command center is quite late. I would say at least 15 seconds late. Um, which, when you're found on a small two-player map like this, can be pretty devastating. Um, I feel like I'm in good shape unless my opponent is doing some sort of like two gate chrono boosted zealot sort of strategy. And we'll just bring him up space for a second here, and as you can see he's doing a two gate chrono boosted zealot thing. <laughs> probably not his main strategy, but uh probably more of a reaction to what he saw here. Saw me going uh command center before barracks. And uh, he, he knows they delayed my command center. So here I do. It's all important to finish this command center. Like if I can't finish it, there's no way I can turn it into a fortress, which means there's no way I can keep it alive. So I do send out three SCVs, and that's just so I can guarantee to get it finished. Uh, once he picks up one SCV, I can quickly build it with another. So I'm turning it onto a fortress and repairing with my one leftover SCV. Pulling out one more to help repair. Trying to micro these SCVs to keep them alive. But I don't have the best control in the world. Trying to pull this SCV back to repair. Now things are going really bad. We're past halfway dead and we got four zealots on this now. Another dead SCV. So pulling a whole bunch. I'm like, I gotta keep this thing alive no matter what. And it looks like I'm just gonna be able to do it. Looks like he killed another SCV. Bring up the unit's lost tab. Yeah, that's already six SCVs he's killed. So not good. And of course when things are bad, they get worse. So right here, obviously, I guess we kind of missed it, so I'll back up. But I did not close my door in time. I went to close it right there, and it was too late. So I had to let three in. This be good. Um, so I'm going to have to clean up these... Uh, Zealous, but at the same time, I can't let this wall fall. If this wall ever falls, it's game over. So I just pulled two marines to try to finish off these uh, zealots and leave the um, bunker here to keep it, hold out the reinforcements. And pulling over my last SCV, I'm just able to hold it. So in units lost, you can see it's not bad for me. I mean, uh, he's lost more units than I have in cost, but if we bring up the income tab. 17 harvesters over 7 of mine. I lost 6 over here, I lost a bunch more over here. Um, so I'm in rough shape, to say the least. So at this point, I know I'm behind. Like, I know, even though I got two bases, there's no way I'm going to be able to keep pace with his army if he goes for one base. But at the same time, if I don't try to catch up economically, there I have no chance of winning. So I gotta risk it, and just pump from both these um, command centers non-stop and just make do with whatever uh, leftover money I have for units because with only seven SCVs in the field it's hard to uh, sorry lost my train of thought there yeah with only seven SCVs in the field and trying to fund two command centers there's not a whole lot of left, left, leftover money to build a gateway or barracks units so notice normally I'd have like my third and fourth, uh, second and third barracks up by now, but I'm just going to be pumping from the one barracks because it's pretty much all I can afford. 
I guess I'll speed it up a touch. I'm able to throw down my second barracks now. I think I eventually move some of these SUVs back so you can see the split's not very even, especially since this is the only base I have refineries at at the moment. I kind of want to have more SUVs in this base. Yeah, so there's two I moved back. Now my economy is looking pretty good. So you can, I'm actually stockpiling at the moment. I surely should be throwing down my third barracks, and I can think about doing other things. And cannon going up here. So I do take that down, check out, see what's on the other side. And shut down that little cannon rush there. Um, yeah, I only lost two marines and took out two cannons and a pylon. So that's the nice little tiny win that I need. I'll take anything at this point and drop coming into my base, so this is why I brought all my units back here. Honestly, I didn't know, if he was still one basing, he could have a giant army at this point, so once I took out that cannon, I immediately wanted to get back to this side of my wall and fight with my uh, bunker. Um, that was my real intent to coming back here. Uh, but it also worked out well versus that drop. I guess if we got that war prison out just a few moments earlier, if he caught me when I was out here, that, those, that Zell drop could have been a lot more devastating. Throwing down my fourth barracks now. And once I get these add-ons on, I should be able to spend up this money fairly quickly. At least I hope I will be able to. And short in Vespian, I should really, uh... Yeah, get these refineries down. It's kind of weird, it kind of it changed the, the sense of the game for me. Like, the general feel I'm used to is totally thrown out of whack by the fact I was broke. Come on, throw down those refineries. There we go. Yeah. Just what I need. Especially since I want to be building ghosts and medevacs at some point here, too. Uh, just getting my factory down now. And transferring out some more SCVs just to kind of balance these bases a little better. You want a piece of me, boy? And feeling that I'm strong enough now to kind of push down the bottom of my ramp. So at this point in the game, I still feel like I'm behind, but... Um, I know I got like a little bit of a win here, and I had I know I had the two bases and the mules where he only had one base. So I'm like, maybe it's back to even. That battle was about a wash. Um, the force fields did kind of mess me up a little bit there, but uh, I think I made up for it with a couple decent kills. Medivac's on the way. Um, getting my energy upgrade on ghosts, so soon I'll be able to start building ghosts. Sealing off this back door. Additional supply depots required. Getting supply capped. <laughs> Alright, so now I got two medevacs and ghosts almost ready. Oop, shut down my medevac production. It's too bad. I could have had four for this push. But I think something gave me the indication right there. Yeah, that scan. Let's catch that again. See, in that scan, I do see transferring out uh, probes. Okay, he's taking his third. I'm like, maybe I can catch him at a weak point here. So I decided, even though I kind of wanted to wait for a few more medevacs, I'm like, well, I got my 1-1 upgrades and I got ghosts. I think I might be in good shape. I don't know the size of his army, but if he's already taking his third, it looks like he went like an economic build. Ready for dust off. Uh, so force fields uh, kind of hurts, and my EMPs are very late. I'm able to take down a couple of mortals there with an EMP and a little bit of sniping. But he is going to clean me up. Uh, I don't feel too terrible about that um, attack. Uh, I think I lost, but I, don't, I think it was only slightly. I mean, yeah, I lost my entire army, but I think he more or less lost his entire army as well. And where I know he has his third base uh, up and saturated, I still feel like my economy is doing pretty well. In fact, if we bring up income tab, yeah, you can see I have a higher harvester count, which helps as well. So the incomes are fairly even, even though he has a, a high yield base. Ready for dust off. 
I really should be taking the high yield any moment now. I guess I'm just waiting for an army big enough that I feel it's safe for me to push out and kill those rocks. Upgrade complete. Could be waiting on some new ghosts. Maybe that's what I'm waiting on. Alright, so I'm setting my uh, rally points to my front line, looking at the rocks, and planting this um, command center. I really should, really should transfer out my SCVs before I actually land that command center. Time this a little better so I have all my SCVs arriving once it lands. So I guess the sooner you get in the high yield, the minerals the better. Uh, taking the Zelnagas. And I do see his army there. Uh, yeah, so Immortals, Templar, Sentries. Interesting. Kind of moving in both directions. Going to lose that control of that tower there. It's pretty smart of you. Once he was done with his warp prism, I guess he was just kind of using it as a scout from then, then on out. Do throw down a scan, and I, that's when I saw the Templar, I believe, so I get ready with my cloak ghosts, get them in the front, and start moving towards them. Let's have a so I'm all prepped for this battle, and I realize, like, shoot, he's swinging around the other direction, and this completely screws me up. Like, if I can pre-plan my micro, I would do okay, but here I'm like, oh, what do I do, what do I do? So I try to lead with the ghosts again. Get the EMPs down, but I'm totally forgetting to bring my army into the battle, so this uh, fortress is going down hard. I don't think I could have saved it anyways against this many immortals. That's a pretty uh, sick amount of immortals. But I did get down a lot of good EMPs there. And the result is shown. I think he moved out too early as well, because he didn't have Psystorm researched yet, so... He was actually just turn them into Archons and use them that way. Which does do fairly well versus Bio, but it's kind of a weird um, army mix when all of your units are kind of melee or, or small range. Like Immortals, Archons, and Zealots all don't fire very well, very far, so they all kind of get cramped together. Yeah, and having lost my fortress, I, like, I know that was bad, but at the same time, like, I know I got a gigantic army lead here. So, he GG's. Um, at the same time, I was getting ready to push out, and I was throwing down three expansions. Anytime you take the lead, always a good time to expand, and I know I had the harvester count for it. Yeah, so I guess... A little review. Um... Don't think I ever showed it in a video before, but uh, yeah, anytime. Chrono boosted zealots can be a pain when you're trying to get this command center up, especially if it gets delayed like mine was. Uh, it's so key to get this command center finished. And then if he does do some sort of rush that you hold off like I do here, but it, it like massacres you. You really have to take the risk and go for the economic build. Because at this point, I can say, well, like, if I have any chance of matching him an army, I got to get down like another barracks or two and start pumping out units. But really, I'm just, it's just going to keep me so far behind economically. I'll never be able to catch up. He'll just extend his lead. So instead, what you want to do is concentrate on getting your economy strong, and just make do with whatever units you have and hope that's enough to hold. Um, had he continued his like one base four gateway push, uh, I might have been in a lot worse shape. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, it would have been close. It's it's still pretty hard to break this ramping with like a lot of units. But um, yeah, you definitely you don't want to compound falling behind economically by falling even further behind economically. Um, so even though it was, he had more than double the harvester count to me, with having two command centers down and having mules, uh, it really helped me get back in the game, and you just, you just take the risk of, of not pumping out a lot of units. 
And with that said, I guess I'll call out the end of this video. Uh, thanks, everyone, and goodbye.